Okay. What do you think that Palestinian leaders made any mistakes? And what mistakes? Any, anybody should be making mistake. Yeah. Uh, prophets make a mistake. It's not, uh, those is not angels. Everybody should be making, but should be correct a mistake. Okay. So give me an example of a mistake for you think they made. But it could be in '48. It could be now. Doesn't matter. Uh, everything they uh, like, like they make agreement last time with the with the uh, with the Israel government uh -huh. in uh, 1993, but they didn't take anything. They didn't moving any any uh, any uh, checkpoint. They didn't. Uh, uh, the people here uh, hard to live after when they came uh, after the agreement. Hard. It's very very hard. Okay. okay. Allow the peace process, process to stop because of settlements continue being built. In 1948, uh, the mistake was to let the Nakba happen. People leaving their homes, many as keys left. Why not fight more? 1967, the mistake was that uh, after that, no single settlement should have been allowed. Uh, none. Also, we have not the uh, we have not uh, a proper government. Government with. We need real election for them. No real election now. And also, not to fight and destroy PIG and such group is uh, mistakes of government. Another mistake is not, is, uh, not showing Palestinians like regular people. We do not tell enough reality about here. We have, we have to. Uh, but people also have to be willing to listen, not just assume. Like, look, <coughs> I have children. Then Israel says, Palestinians love war more than they love their children. That is not true, I love my children. They are what keep me alive, understand? Don't Jews have children? I know they do, don't Jews love their children? Then what is the difference? I love them. I don't want anything to happen to them. Can you understand that? If I loved war, why was I up all night during the last Gaza bombardment by Israel? I was holding them close to me and trying to give them safety. If I loved war, I would just have let them die. I don't want my children to die when there is bombings. They are terrified. Is it that hard to believe that we do love our own children? What mistakes do you think Palestinian leaders have made when dealing with Israel? You know, I'm going to give you an example of how... Uh, Israel and the Palestinian deals. Israel looks like the big uh, muscle, big muscle guy, tough, dealing with just uh, 70 kilos uh, size of dude. I remember you. Mm -hmm. From Solich. And the weak guy cannot yeah. do anything to the strong guy. You know how it is. Yeah. That's how it is. That's the way it is with Israel and the Palestinian leaders cannot do nothing. So you think the, well, what's so the mistake? So if Abu Mazen wants to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. he has to take permission oh, before he even it? uses the bathroom. They the Palestinian the, government uh, over here is around. just oil, just a weak government. Okay. Yeah. So what mistake do you think they made? The, 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 the big mistake they made is they kept lagging and dragging about the peace process, they keep lying to the Palestinian. No, no, no. The, what mistake do you think the Palestinian leadership made? They, they keep they keep lying to the Palestinian people that there is a solution. They should tell them the truth. There is so you so you think so you you think that the mistake is that Palestinian leaders are believing the Israelis. That's what you mean? No, the the, the Palestinian leaders have no say so. Mm -hmm. All what they say about making peace and, and going through uh, talking with the Israeli government is all bullshit. <laughs> What mistakes do you think the Palestinian leadership has made? And you are technically an Israeli citizen who lives and also a Palestinian citizen. So you, you kind of have a view of both sides. I think that the Palestinian leadership have fallen into uh, Israel's trap. Mm -hmm. Oslo, the Oslo Agreement was the second, 
disaster of the Palestinian people. Mm -hmm. And I think on the Israeli side, it was the smartest thing they could do. Mm -hmm. So I think that the biggest mistake the Palestinian leadership did was that they signed the Oslo Agreement. Okay, so what would you do now? Or what would you recommend doing? I would uh, cancel the Oslo Agreement mm -hmm. on the basis that an interim agreement that should have been resolved a few years after it's uh, uh, after it was agreed upon has now been going on for decades uh, bringing the Palestinian uh, areas into more or less an apartheid situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think now the Palestinian Authority should dissemble. The Palestinian people should go back to the PLO and they should uh, simply define the situation as apartheid, colonialism and occupation. So who would, who would take over control of basic services? Israel. Okay. Israel is an occupying power. Mm -hmm. According to international law, Israel should provide the basic needs of the occupied people. That, in turn, would be an, a tremendous burden for the Israeli population mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, economics, in terms of cost of life, of having Israeli policemen patrol the streets, having Israeli soldiers patrol the streets providing schooling, uh, cleaning, sanitation for the people here, even at its b most basic level. And, and so, and what would come out of that? Meaning then and Israel would have to give it up? that would happen, the, the result would be that the Israeli population would feel the consequences of the occupation, mm -hmm. which they don't, don't do today. Israel will not end, end the occupation until the cappuccino, the café four in Tel Aviv, gets a bitter taste. Mm -hmm. And then, then who will take it over? That's the one state solution, a two state solution, a three state solution, as long as it's based on international law and is based on the equality of the people living between the, the Jordan River and the Mediterranean uh, Sea, whatever, whatever the people wants. What mistakes do you think the Palestinian leadership has made? In regarding what? Regarding, um, it could be anything from before 48, 48, 67, now, it doesn't, and, and who the leadership is up, is up to you. Mm. I think they make promises. Like they say, uh, when the Jews are gone, then we will give you work, we will give you uh, better healthcare, we will give you better education, we will give you this and that and all that, everything will be fine, we will be safe, it's not dangerous anymore. Then, that never happened. Like, they make promise, they don't keep. And the, if you don't keep, you get people not trusting other uh, people. And, uh, like, like, you don't trust the leadership after you hear them say things all the time. And, yeah, that's what I feel. Do you think they made any mistakes um, about uh, Jews in Israel and how they related to Jews? I think letting the the like uh, the the rumor, the myth, myth, uh, uh, they they let that uh, that uh, being spread and go, they not stop, they they not say like, for example, uh, Jews are not humans, they not say stop, 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 we don't say that, like they, they, they let it be, like they, they, they like, they not just say like enemies, enemies, uh, Jews, they don't only say like enemies, you only, like you, you hate enemies. They don't say like you shouldn't hate regular people. They say like uh, they are the enemies. Every single one of them. Like you know when when the Shahid uh, came and like uh, blew up in inside of uh, Israel, they like do mission. 
they say in mission uh, all the uh, only enemies die but they they never uh, like say that only enemies are like army or only enemies are like this everyone of enemy they never like specify something else and uh, that I think is mistake because then you create peop people that are um, uh, hating and that are not trusting and you know uh, things like that like you create the uh, you create the uh, like platform for hate what mistakes do you think Palestinian leaders have made dealing with Israel the division between the, the Israelis and Palestinians. So that the, 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 the Palestinian leadership made a division. איזה טעויות אתה חושב שהמנהיגים הפלסטינאים עשו? יכול להיות עכשיו, יכול להיות ב-48, זה לא... לא יודע, זה נראה לי טעות אחת, לא יותר. זה שהלכו להסכם אוסלו בלי... בלי באמת... איך אני, אני לא יודע איך להסביר את זה. בלי באמת להיות בטוחים שבאמת אחרי חמש שנים, שנים אנחנו כן נקבל שטחים ונקבל, ונקבל מדינה ונקבל את זה. זה אז זו הטעות הראשונה, ואחר כך תיקח המון טעויות עשו. לא רוצה לספר לך על טעויות שלהם, כבר כולם יודעים מה, איזה טעויות. Okay. אבל זו באמת טעות. זו הטעות. זו הטעות. שאנחנו הלכנו כן להסדר שלום, להסכם אוסלו. וזה אחרי, ולא היינו כן בטוחים שאחרי חמש שנים מה שהבטיחו לנו נקבל. ואני גם, אני גם מדבר לך ככה, ואני לא יודע מהו הסכם אוסלו בכלל, על מה מדובר בכלל. משהו אני שמעתי שכן אחרי חמש שנים יהיה לכם כאילו מין מדינה כזו שאתם תשלטו בעצמכם, לא כיבוש, לא ככה, לא ככה, לא תראו התנחלויות, לא תראו את זה, לא תראו את זה, ושום דבר לא יתפצע מהדברים האלה. Just not mistakes been been done. We always should be when they continue settlements. Stop them from doing it. Uh, burn down. Do whatever. Just stop. Say we're not peace if buildings continue. Arrest uh, settlers doing terrorism. Palestinian leadership. We need election. What mistakes do you think that the leaders, Palestinian leaders, made any leader doesn't matter made okay. when they when they uh, with Israel, Israel what mistake did they make well uh, what I believe the mistake uh, okay. they did uh, they, um, uh, they, they um, and from the beginning like not from uh, you know this year from years ago they uh, accept the Jewish to be with the Palestinian in in Palestine, not here in West Bank, in the Palestine, the Manu as uh, like um, we we are like the Arab in general, like hmm. especially when we like Palestinian, like in Jordan, like the majority was Bedouin, Bedouin and and uh, and uh, country Falahim. people, country Falahim. people, okay, and we uh, from from uh, years ago. We uh, like to help. We like to help visitors, like or like uh, anybody need help. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, they asked for just let us look for a piece of land, you know, to be neighbors with you, you know, to live together. And so, we have enough land, like you know, it could like uh, um, it's enough for for both for all of we, mm -hmm. you know. But the Jewish was thinking different way they were thinking bad you know 
they start coming and the, the, the British was uh, occupied here British, by the British you know right. uh, they've been helping the Jewish you know to to play with the Palestinian like uh, they fool they fool the Palestinian like okay why not come over here and they start they start uh, armed armed the Jewish you know and you make groups and start you know fighting the Palestinian I kick them out from the villages and nobody nobody they pay attention to the Palestinian. The Palestinian does have had a little weapon, just they call it Baruda, long time ago, like a machine gun, a small one, you know. Oh. And the Jewish armed with the tanks, and so the England, you know, armed them. And they did uh, 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 in different places, like um, uh, they call it massacres. Mas mas massacres. Massacres, yeah, like, you know, the, the Palestinian scared. So, so, what, so what's the mistake that the Palestinians did in that? What's the mistake? The leader. The leader. The leaders. The leader because they're not educated enough. They have no like nothing about politics. None of them. Mm. They don't know nothing about politics. They just between people or non-educated people. They just uh, like uh, take the place like to be like leader or to be uh, uh, like uh, governor or something like that. But. He don't know. He know. He don't know nothing about about politics. He just he like he just like to be like uh, like a sitting chair, and everybody around respect him as you know. That's all. He don't care what's coming, what or what the enemies or that what he consider them friends, but he's not friends. Even the Middle East countries, they collect. They collect from the, 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 the foreigner from the from Europe or from America or from England to keep shut mouth and we divide do the profit between all you have this part you have like then you I give you money or I, I, I protect you to be like president or to be king or to be whatever and nobody stand behind the Palestinian to help them. Just take it like, like you know, like uh, like a little child, you know, you know nobody care about, about the Palestinian. And uh, the Palestinian, or the, the Arab leaders, the Arab leaders, oh, not from long time, up to now, they did big mistakes. They did a lot of mistakes because, because they don't learn from the mistakes before. Okay, if you want to be strong, as example, look at your the other side, your enemy. He working out. He going to the health club, build his body. You know, he is ready, prepared himself in case somebody want to beat him. He is ready. You know, uh, the Jewish was had a plan from long time ago before before they come to Palestine that they choose Palestine to be a state for them. And they prepare what they need. They need money. They need power. They need uh, to 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 uh, to talk to the other to Europe or to other uh, uh, strong uh, countries. You know, to be with them and start uh, start um, doing what they have in the mind, little by little after. In 1967, the Jewish been crying all the time. We are only just a little, you know, state, and the Middle East countries around are going to kick us, to throw us into the to the ocean or to the sea, and everybody feel with them. From 1956 or 58, France helped them to build nuclear weapon, and nobody knows about that. In 1963, they have the pump when you know and uh, they fight and they, they um, when the, the, the fight started in 1967 with, the, with Egypt and Jordan and uh, Syria you know USA as example they never let them because the strongest country in the world USA they never let the Arab 
the whole Arab beat Israel because Israel to be here is good for America because they know they know from inside that the Arab you could you can't trust them you can't trust them anytime they 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 uh, sell you in cheaper price like they don't have like the Jewish no the Jewish like I keep you here in Palestine and I protect you but you have to to listen to me or to do what I tell you but the, the Arab leaders is different one time with the uh, Russia one time with China one time with the you know that's why US or the Europe um, prefer Israel to be here better than the, the Palestina or even the, the, Arab, the other you know countries like as example we got we got everything we got the oil we got uh, the, the good land to plant anything you want but the leaders who like hire the leaders to be king or to be president you ask him anytime they want to do like this they send somebody from around him from the family his cousin his uncle his son to kill him or to put somebody else that's what happened with Gaddafi lately what happened to Saddam lately that's what happened to Bashar Assad what happened to Hosni Mubarak this is not because the the the, 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 the people in Egypt when this happened like this or the white people in, in Syria like the, or in, 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 in Iraq what mistake do you think is the, what's the biggest mistake that they made Palestinian politicians the Palestinian government do mistake the fight the Israeli and Jewish. Mm -hmm. They fight the people, they live in Israeli and Jewish to, to get out. And they make all the Israeli and Jewish afraid from them and they shoot and they kill. That's big mistake they do it. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to fight. Because there is a Bal Israeli and Jewish, they don't do nothing. Like some Palestinian people, they don't do nothing. And they are killing by between the Israeli government and the Palestinian and government. they killing together and the people don't do nothing and the mistake do with uh, Palestinian government they broke Hamas and Fatah Hamas they do a lot of bad things they shoot Israel they do something they fight every time and that's not good for us to make a peace mm -hmm. that's they never never ever can make a peace and Hamas fighting and Fatah fighting and they do a lot, a lot of problem for Israel that's not good What mistakes do you think the Palestinian leaders have made dealing with Israel? Any leader? Uh, <laughs> It's not, it's not uh, really the mistake of the, our leadership, it's a mistake of the whole Arab world and the whole world because there were uh, decisions in favor, in, in favor of Palestinians but nobody uh, implemented them. Like what? Like uh, what? Uh, the, the wall around the world. This is a simple thing, that America is saying that it's not legal. Americans say in public it's illegal. 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 And when we go to the general uh, general council, uh, they, they use the veto. Veto. Okay. Yeah. But do you, did Palestinian leaders make any mistakes? But how the Palestinian leaders make any mistakes? Uh, the Sins have no um, uh, independent decision. Some are related to Syria, some are related to Egypt, some are related to Iran. To Iran. But I'm going to say that the Arabs are not going to be able to do this. They are going to be able to do this. They are going to be able to do this. They are going to be able to do for example, when Yasser Arafat was negotiating with Israel and they are, they are going to, into the peace process, Hamas 
made the um, society explosions to to dismiss uh, this process. But that's not a mistake of meaning. That's a Palestinian mistake, no? <laughs> They're leaders.